Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We got a another update to give here on this uh, four-door Impala that I've been working on for the last week. Uh, we got the engine done. I even put boots on the spark plug wires. I don't know if those are showing up or not. Let's back up a little bit. They're brown. They're brown and my wires are black. Uh, we got the uh, oil filter detail painted up. We painted up our, our bracket for the alternator. That was just a piece of simple styrene. And then I... I used my my round rat tail files and filed out a, a groove up here and one for the the uh, bolt on the alternator. We got the uh, hot water hoses in. Uh, it's wired up. We got our our breather cap on. So I'm I'm happy with that. That's just enough detail for me. Uh, the only thing I might do next is uh, drill out the starter or the the uh, solenoid for the starter and put battery cables in it. But overall, I'm I'm really happy with that. I'm happy with the way that air cleaner came out. the The detail on the end of it, I think it it adds a lot to it. It really makes it look like a a stock air cleaner. So that part's done. We got the chassis assembled. It's uh, really basic, so pretty much all I'm gonna do is, is get it painted black, and then I'll go in and brush detail the exhaust system on it. And that's that. Now, you notice this is white, and the car and everything else has been red, but I had the two kits here and I just happened to grab the one with uh, the white chassis and started putting all the parts on it so but it does fit but another thing I want to talk about is we have glass I don't know if you if you can make out the the nice little bow that we have in it See up here right at the top, it's just matching up with that roof line. And now I know that uh, I, my back corners are, are probably too big, but I, I'm going to live with it. I'm, I'm going to just call it good enough for me. And... <clears throat> I think we're good right there. I got to do a little bit more final sanding to get it all the way in, but it is really, really close. And how I done that, right now it's just a, a basic pressure fit, but this was, well, we'll start this way. My template that I made. I taped my template onto the kit glass that was supplied with it. And, but what I did was I turned it around because the two door had the uh, concave glass. When I, I turned it around and I gave it, you know, just a, a few of these and held it for a little bit and it gave it just just enough bow for it to bow out and to pretty much match our our styrene template that we made and all I did was I, I taped it on the sides and I took a little grinder oh, let me see here I got a little grinding head in my uh, Black & Decker Dremel tool I worked the tops and the bottoms down 
And then I done the rest of it with a, a rough sanding, uh, sanding stick until it was, well, basically I, I done a little bit and then took it apart, stuck it in a car and until I was, until I could get it to really stay in there by itself, I wasn't going to stop. I don't want to try to sit here for 15 minutes and put that back in, but it, it does fit. And I'm, I'm really pleased about that. Well, it did fit. You seen it at the start. But yeah, I am super stoked about that. I'm I'm so happy that I finally got that. Cause I, I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get that glass in there right. But now that we have that, and then I I put some styrene rod in that big gap under the hood. We'll have to sand all this down and maybe trace back all, all that under hood detail. And then uh, I actually made another light bar for this car because I sold the other one that I had. Uh, I made a, a Mars bar for it this time with uh, candy cane domes on it. I painted those up, painted the red stripes on the domes, and we'll just we're gonna go with that. I have uh, I have the little gutter mount brackets here for it that I put a piece of styrene on the inside and these will get glued on first but that styrene if you can see it up in there it will set on top of that rain gutter and lock it into place so that the side of it, if I can get this back over here again. Well, I just knocked it off. The side of it will be down on the rain gutter so it gives the correct appearance that it is attached to the rain gutter. I'll have to glue that little piece back on. But this, uh, I think this Mars bar is going to look pretty cool in there. <laughs> you got to imagine it. It will set up a little bit higher. Maybe about like that. But I think that'll look real good on there. But... That was, I guess, the big news was the fact that I finally got the glass for the back done. And then now the next few days we'll be focusing on this deck lid, trying to get it correct or close. I still have to uh, go over my door lines here and I got a couple couple little low spots up here I want to try to address. I still got to get the rest of the 400 or the, it said 454 up here. I need to get that off. I got a nick in it right here from when I first started to get the side molding off of it and a little bit more to do up there on that, but for the most part, she's coming right along. And it looks just about the same on both sides. So, guys, I, I really appreciate you watching. And thanks for all the comments and the glass. Before I forget, I don't, I don't want to take any credit for this. Because one of my subscribers, his name is Samuel Cox. He's, uh, he's the one that gave me the tip about 
cutting the part off of the original trunk and just putting it straight up here. That worked perfect. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that deeply. And then he left me another voice message yesterday and told me to try the kit glass since it was concave and turn it around. So that's what I did. And, and then I, like I said, I put my template on there. This is just tape residue on it. It'll come off. Once I get this to where I am completely 100% satisfied, it will take a dip in the, in the future floor polish a couple times. But Mr. Cox, I certainly appreciate uh, the tip that you gave me on the, on the glass and on this piece off of the deck lid. It's uh, people like you that, that make adventures like this worth, worth taking. Because, like I've said, I'm, I'm no expert. I'm, I'm just shooting from the hip because I wanted to make a four-door car out of this two-door. And with, with the great help of the subscribers I have, it makes it possible. So, sir, thank you very much for that. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. Again, his name was Sam Cox. Very, very nice man and... I, I really appreciate it. I, I can't tell you enough. All right. Uh, with that being said, uh, I guess we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.